Well, looking at the theatre now, I mean, people don't realise that there were 2,150 seats in the theatre. I mean, many, many years ago, they used to fill them all, and they used to have Sunday concerts where 6.15 and 8.30, two houses, full each time. But we've got to think logically. There's no way that we can fill a theatre like this. 2,000 seats, seven nights of the week. We just can't do it. So we've had to look at um, a multi-purpose use. Yeah, well, the auditorium is a huge area and we can use it for lots of things. But unfortunately, there is a rake in the floor. So we need to be able to lay um, a floor that's not permanent, but a level floor so that people can use it. Use it for ballroom dancing. We can have banqueting inside the theatre. We can have wrestling matches. We can have tea dancing. All the other things that will bring different groups of people into the theatre. Now, the stage, um, I mean, it's quite a big stage, and people are surprised that it's the same size as the Grand at Blackpool. What do we use the stage for? Lots of things we can use the stage for. I mean, uh, we've had children on there uh, dancing. We've had, um, funnily enough, we had the Boy Scouts came to do their entertainment badge on the on the stage. Uh, we've had pantomimes on the stage. We've had groups on the stage. Uh, I mean, plays. Uh, th th there's an absolute uh, minefield of things that we can use that stage for. Well, if we leave the safety curtain down, that the stage is a room in itself and it can be used for meetings. People can do, uh, dancing classes can use it to practice, rehearsal space. I mean, there's lots of things we could do with it. And we've got to make the building workable and every space within the building workable separately. I mean, once we lost the sea change funding and we had to rethink what we wanted to do, we had to look at our priorities, and we made a priority list. And one of the biggest priorities is uh, provision of toilets and a bar area. We've got planning permission now, that's been passed, and the council have given us planning permission in order to put ladies, gents, disabled toilets within the bar area and refurbish the bar out as a bar or a snack bar when the building's in use. So the main priority at the moment is to open up the ground floor for use next year. We've asked three builders to give us estimates for the cost of uh, refurbishing the bar area once the toilets are in. They're working very closely with Lancaster City Council's conservation officer and things will only be done within the theatre that are approved by the conservation officer.